Fresh water can be supplied to your RV appliances such as your shower, toilet or sink from two sources, your fresh water tank or from a city water supply. When you're connecting up to a standard city water supply such as you'd get at a caravan park, you will bypass your water tank. The water enters your RV much like it does at a standard home. The supply is permanently on and when you need, you simply turn on your appliance. Connecting up is reasonably simple. You'll need an RV water connection, just like this one, supplied with new Sunliner RVs, but also available from most RV accessory stores. A food grade water hose as well, and a standard hose connection like you get on your garden hose at home. Take the RV connection and screw it into your RV, just like that. Do it up nice and tight. Then grab the other end, the garden variety connection end, and click it onto your tap. To disconnect, simply do everything in reverse and pull the plug out. It's important to remember that you do not need to use your water pump when connected to city water, so keep it turned off. If you're planning to free camp for a few days, you'll want to fill your fresh water tank before you head off. Simply insert the hose into the tank inlet and turn on the tap. You use your onboard monitors above the entry door to determine how full your tanks are. Remember, water is weight in an RV, so only carry as much water as you think you'll need. Your fresh water pump is designed to move water from the holding tank to the appliances that require it when not connected to city water. There is a switch for your water pump on the main control panel above your door. Use this to turn on the water pump when required. Only turn the pump on when there is water in the tank to avoid overusing the motor. The pump can turn on itself intermittently during the night to maintain water pressure and this can disturb some people while sleeping. We recommend turning the pump off at the main control panel before retiring and turning it back on in the morning. If you're not using your water tanks for a while, then empty the tanks to avoid damage. Thanks for watching this Sunliner recreational vehicle how-to video.